Marvis back again. 84 Air Code G by the squad, y'all. Red Velvet Garage is in the building. Little update, little update, guys. Been um doing a few things with the Air Code. I dropped a, a dry shelf. If you've been keeping up with the previous videos, man, you know, if you like, just kind of go back and check those out. You know, they um they kind of pretty much keep you uh, on track of what we did on the on the Echo so far and where we headed. And I always talk about what my next plan on uh, pretty much on each video. I'm going to try to learn to stop doing that, but I'm going to start kind of showing you how I do things, like I said before. But anyway, man, this video right here is uh, it's HVAC time, y'all. It's cold out. You know, it's, it's January 2021. Happy New Year, like I said to you guys before. I hope your New Year's still doing pretty good. hope it's prosperous, though. But, guys, where I'm at on the air code, if you've seen, let me go ahead and take you onto the air code real quick. Then we'll come back and I'll show you what came in the mail. How about that? Y'all stay tuned and spin you around. All right, guys, he be using the air code. I know you guys don't seen on this damn hood a hundred times, but let's pay attention to the HVAC. Let's pay attention to the HVAC. You see, I got the new, uh, the dry in. All this stuff inside this AC box is new, as I mentioned before, probably. But I had to get some AC lines for the, the, the low pressure line going to the compressor, low pressure in right here, and then the high pressure over here to the, uh, to this, to this condenser uh if you haven't watched in the previous videos but this condenser right here this ac condenser right here it comes it's, it's for a g body uh cut this uh, i think maybe a, 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 a regal but I, I know it for a g body 80s with a 70 a 77 78 to a 86 i think cut this and it's the same as the g body i mean as the air code the air codes their fittings on the other side i want to keep mine on this side because it's a shorter distance to the compressor i want to keep everything on the same side of the engine bay and uh like i said i gotta get this guy right here uh a line for him i need three lines i need one from the low pressure high pressure to the condenser condenser uh liquid line over here to the to the line here so man i went to coldhose.com and i ordered my fittings i ordered the, uh, the number six number eight and number 10 size fittings 10 being the largest and six being the smallest guys which is the liquid line i hope i got my lines and all that shit right now also got me some uh pag 46 oil i think it goes inside this thing it's good yeah it's pag 46 oil and um didn't get many uh, instructions, so you guys, you want to pay attention to this if, if you don't understand or haven't really done HVAC and afraid of attacking. It's just quite easy to get these things charged as long as you're not leaking. Okay, but here's the deal. This compressor right here, I'm going to take it off, get the belt off. I'm going to take it off in a little while and uh, disconnect. This is only maybe about four bolts holding this thing on. I guess you got two here. There's six, I guess, because you got eight ears here. So uh, I'm going to take it off, loosen it up, loosen the brackets up so I can get it off without having to fight this thing. It's cold as shit out here. I'm going to close my garage down in a minute. I'm going to lose a little light, guy, but y'all work with me on that. Uh, on eBay now, they did give you a little bit more about the compressor where it says uh, add four ounces of pack oil to a pack 46 oil to it. It's all already in it, but the amount of oil may not be enough. So I'm going to get my measuring cup out and I'm going to see if I can drain much of this oil. It's cool out, but I hope I get much, much of the oil as I can out of it and see how much is in it. And then I'm going to backfill it with a new uh, uh, container of pack 46 oil to it. And, and four ounces, I think, is what it's called. I'll go back and check that out in a minute. But I get to keep you guys, you guys are going to roll along with me when I uh, do the install. But I want to give you guys a, a general idea that this compressor probably do not have uh, four ounces of oil in it. So you need to check that. And I, and I remember in the instructions say, you know, to be sure you can loosen this cap up. Not this cap, I'm just telling you. Well, I guess you can loosen it up. But this is probably how you're going to drain and fill it anyway. Dimes and donuts. Section. You can drain it out and backfill it. That way you won't overfill. You'll just know how much is in there. You know, you'll be for sure about it. Or you can just kind of add a couple more ounces to it and move on. I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to go ahead and just add four ounces to this thing. And then uh, I'm going to connect all my, I'm, I'm gonna connect all my hoses to it, get them buttoned up. I'm not going to over torque. I'm just going to get a little oil on them. And I just leave, I just leave them be. And I would not charge this system. The only thing we have is just oil in it until I'm ready to run the engine and then do a charge to it. Right now, I just want to get, get this get all this clothes to button up and be done with the HVAC and all they would need just a, a, a vacuum put on I got all my, my tools and everything for that I got the uh, manifold and all the other stuff for it, man you got a little small vacuum from Ann Harbor Freight get you one of those man it works fine mine did but anyway let's go ahead and get to the uh the meat and potatoes on this uh on this video about the tools and, and, and the shit that came in let's go y'all follow me over here all right, you see on the damn table right here, man. I went on and them uh, bit the bullet, dropped me a hundred bucks on this tool right here. And this tool right here, man, gives you the ability to swing. It gives you the ability to make your own custom AC lines. How badass is that? Yeah, I stepped up, y'all. I big dog this shit right here. I big dog. And 
I seen a, a guy or two, uh, um, I can't remember his name on e, uh, uh, YouTube. He did, however, use this thing and he showed it up. I see a few guys use them. It got all the sizes, man. He got them all down to the, uh, the uh, I guess the, uh, the, uh, the reduced barrier. It got the reduced barrier fittings on it all the way up to uh, size 12, 8, 18 and 12. And also on this side right here, just for the standard damn fittings, it got all the way up to uh, from 6 to up to 12. So that is an awesome ordeal. So uh, that's what I got. I got standard size fitting. I didn't get reduced barrier. I got the standard size fitting, and I got all that shit from coldhose.com. But this guy right here is off eBay. And I found one that's cheaper. And man, these are Chinese, these things are Chinese now. Don't don't run out thinking you got yourself something, something, but you do have something. And I'm sure this thing right here will, will it will crimp several feet before it fell on you. And you can make your goddamn money back on this thing right here at a hundred bucks, man. Shit, come on, custom AC holes is probably 60, 70, 80 bucks a pop, bro. Come on, let's do your numbers. Do your numbers, guys. Let's not hate on that. Yeah, I could have got AC uh coldhose.com to make my hoses for me. Yes, sir, I could have. You know, let me set you guys up real quick and we're going to go ahead and move on a little bit forward. Hold what on. I'm saying, guys, this right here, man, this 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 ordeal, man, this little gizmo, you know, you kind of tighten it up and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's brand new, so it's uh, it's supposed to be one of those type of hydraulic type of setups, man, where you, you, you can pump this thing up. You can see that little piston supposed to go up. I can see it going up. You can see that piston going up on it. And you hit the uh, turn the knob on the back side right here, and then it'll, it'll drop on down. There you go. So they let you know that this thing works. You know, just kind of take the pin out, flip it open. And I mean, it's a very simple design. And you can loosen it up just to kind of, you can get back inside your box there, you know, and lay inside the box like so. You know, good little deal, man. I mean, I, I, I like the idea of it. It's like I said, that damn um, hydraulic pressure is pretty strong because I got another little China made tool that I use that do crimps for uh, your battery cables. And I really like that thing now. It haven't let me down. Yeah, this is this this there there it is. You know, you come with a little cutter if you guys don't. Now I was told by one not told by one guy. I saw on YouTube where one guy said this cutter right here is not the best cutter. You can sharpen it, but you want to make sure your cuts are square. You know, you don't want to have no off kilter uh, cuts. But this right here get you by. I have one that I, that I use for the uh, PVC, but if the blade been cracked. It might work, but I'll work with this one first if I need to. Cut it straight, I may go to razor and I get it flat and level before I can just move on with it. But let me move on, guys. Um, like I said, he, these are your all uh, the 10 to 12 standard barriers, but now right here, the purple, I was worried that it didn't have the number six fitting for uh standard barrier. It had number six for the reduced uh barrier, but this right here, this right here is for a number. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's right here for a number eight, and the bottom side is, is a number six. So number eight reduced barrier and the number six standard are the same fitting. So I was really relieved that I found out that this is what this is. It's it's, it's both of them. It's like a two on one. So the purple are the ones going to go for your uh, liquid lines. If you guys don't have to know that, but you know if you want to do your own lines, man, and and you know you probably end up doing another uh you can fix another uh ac line and, and this line you come over here we're gonna move on a little bit further let me give you guys what you want you need you guys what you need get up on game on that right here my little bubble wrap you can see i got my feet i'm gonna open this up and kind of went through it and verify it guys I say this right here these are the fittings and they come with the o-rings if you guys didn't recognize they got o-rings loop these babies up with some uh pag oil before you drop them on there and these are the crimp fittings right here it's not hard to do them i watched several videos it's quite simple it's, it's like self-explanatory or straightforward if you want to call it that got my number 10s right here for the larger holes that's a low pressure and right here this is the holes i want to show you guys now i will show you over on the, on the car now the liquid line is is a number six fitting on the condenser on the condenser, it's a number six size threaded fitting right here. It's a standard size fitting. It's threaded. But when you get to my dryer, no, not the dryer. I'll take it back. Not the dryer. But the evaporator that's inside the air box, it is a number eight size fitting. A number eight size fitting. Now, this right here is a specialty fitting. I got this right here where it's, it's, uh, it's reduced. It goes from a number eight to a number six size fitting. You can tell the threads are smaller. Number six right here. Oh, this is a female, and I got a male in right here. It's a number six male and a number eight female because the number eight is on my evaporator. So I wanted something going to fit my evaporator. So I got this special to fit, and it was right here. Now this right here was high up, was twenty bucks. Now you're eighteen ninety nine. Go from that number eight down to this number six. Right here, from number eight had to get reduced down. 
so I can neck it down and that that fits right on and go straight to my uh, go to, straight to, to the condenser on the front side the number six on the liquid line of the condenser on the front of the car and that i got two of these right into these two of these straight fittings and it's gonna be a straight hose going straight to that uh about maybe two feet or less but this right here is perfect got it at a 90 degree it is perfect 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 and i'm glad i i, I really studied and researched my car and i've got some measurements out man so i had to do that but the rest of these fittings though they're pretty much self-explanatory. I just want to show you one specialty fit. And this right here is, a, is going to come out to, uh, to compress it itself. This is a 90 degree coming out to compress the low line, low end. And right here going into the, uh, the evaporator, well, not the evaporator, but the dryer. This right here is for number 10 for the low pressure line. And I, now on my evaporator, I will show you on the card in a little while. I'm going to get the, uh, the, the fitting for, I guess it was the R134A uh, retrofit kit. It's going to have that... Um, that fitting for R134A, that car is outfitted for an R12 system, but it's being it's converted over, and from the fittings I got, it would allow me to do that. But this car right here, it don't have a high pressure line on it, so yeah, we, we got got that figured out too. So if you guys look in the little sink right here, look at my 90 degree right here coming off the compressor, the high pressure line, there she go. Check that out. She already have one already uh made in there high pressure line so now i have a high pressure line i can tap into on on this system right here so yep got that right there for the number eight coming off the compressor going into the number eight on the condenser side let's show you the hoses guys and the hoses go this right here you can look at it the inside down these are pretty hefty ass hoses man they are good year brand i think and um uh, this right here is the number six number six it goes right in there real easy man it's easy and it's got a little hole we're gonna show you that, man. You got a little hole right here. And that hole, you gotta make sure this hose is exposed right there in that hole. You push it down until you see that hole is being covered up. And you can see that hole is still in there. When you crimp it down, you gotta make sure it's like that. I'm gonna keep this one on there because um, this end right here get cut. So this right here will be my first crimp end anyway. But you wanna make sure that thing is fully bottom out and and you just crimp it on there with the number six fitting. And we're gonna test drive this thing. You know what? I'm gonna show you real quick the other two holes. Well, I should really don't have to show you the goddamn holes. You know what the holes look like. These are AC holes. These are for AC lines. You need to get them. These are thick barrier walls now. I got about two feet of this this guy right here, the number eight. This is the number six. And I have about, I don't know, they like to beat me out. This don't like no damn two feet. Yeah, it's two feet. Two feet of number 10. I don't need a lot of those in anyway, though. But I will, however. The flat is the end that they already cut. That's be the end I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use first. Then uh, the ones I modified will be. So let's check this out. We're going to tighten him up. We're going to pull him out. And we're going to go to number six. These are the number six. It's right here. The number six and the number eight uh, steel uh, reduced barrier. Reduced barrier. It goes in like so. It's not first time you can fuck with this damn thing, y'all. It's a self explanatory though. I don't think you got to flip it, man. It just goes in right here. They got little little notches in there. Got little notches that it uh, it sits inside of. He go in the middle and obviously he goes right here in the bottom. There it is. Y'all see that? I ain't get too close and dirty all I did. Check that out. It's ready to roll already. Already ready ready to roll. R and R. So when it goes on, you put your ordeal in there and you lock him in place and you're in the game. So we gonna damn ball. Uh, we finna play. We finna play. I hope we don't fuck it up. I gotta order another. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop him in here like this. You kind of see. I'm not gonna put him right there. You gonna kind of cam up right there where you got the little chamber right there. You wanna kind of go up a little bit and make sure you you pass that hole, and you wanna make sure you clamp right there just like so. I'm gonna show you got a lot of play where we can kind of work with before we even crimp it in you know all right we crimped in and i'm gonna i'm gonna get it started before i even keep my eyes on the hole i got to hope i got you guys in the camera view we're gonna work it down i'm somewhere about look like okay i'm on it i'm on it i'm looking at it i'm gonna make sure that the hose is pushed all the way in and i'm i'm about I'm about, man, uh, roughly about an eighth of an inch from the top. I'm not sure if I need to work my way up a little bit. I'm going to come a little bit in right there, right before that damn hose. Right there before, because I want to make sure we 
We square player. Up. Oh, pump it back up. Here we come. Here we come now. Here we come. All right, now we're getting tight. It be stationary. Now I'm pushing in on this hose, if you guys can see. I don't want to get too close to make y'all look. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm going to push in like this. I go to the vice if I want to. I can see the hose inside this hole. I can see the hose. And I'm going to go ahead and, for what I'm looking at, I'm right there about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. And I'm about, uh, about a sixth of an inch from the hole. That's where I'm going to roll it with my, uh, with my set point. So let's go ahead and let's, let's lock it in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got some cramp. Oh, we got some cramp loading this baby, y'all. Can y'all see it? I'm gonna make sure she's tight. Now I ain't gonna pull it out of there and, and, and assume. Now it's getting really tight. Is it gonna leak? I don't know. We shall see. Now, one thing they don't want you to do is just get too crazy. And when this thing get tight, you kind of don't want to just go crazy with it now. I know you want to be sure that it's, it's ready to roll. Now, this tight. I'm for certain of this. All right. I'm for certain. We almost bought them out, and you don't want to damage your piston by squeezing too much because this is a little Chinese outfit now. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So I'm I'm pretty much tight as I can get. And this motherfucker's in there. It's in there. Now let's go ahead and loosen it up. Let's see. Let's look at our results. Man, check this out. Check it out. You can see the holes kind of. Being protruding a little bit through there. Well, it squeezed that something in there. I mean, look at that. Uh, right there at the hose, and I got left myself enough room where it can flare out. I was up about an eighth of an inch past the bottom surface. I'm sorry, I'm probably too high. I'm about an eighth of an inch past where well, I started my crimp at, about an eighth of an inch past that. And I didn't want to go too close uh, over this hole where it can damage the top area. So, you see what we got going on? You see this with your own eyes. You, I mean, look for yourself. Look at the quality. I want you to spin it around. Don't say I, I'm half ass and then, then did a, a, a camera trick. You see this damn thing did, did, did what it's supposed to do. Make sure that damn hose is exposed to that hole right there. Uh, that means it's always down and shit. It's tight. It's in there. And I'm glad I kind of used the square it off. So it's squared off from the factory or well, from the company. So this is not coming off. This is a sealed AC line that is custom done by your boy Bob's right here at Real Vivid Garage. We're going to move along, guys. I'm going to get you moved over to the car and we're going to take some more measurements. And we're going to go ahead and do our first line. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's go. All right, guys. We're over here back at the car now. If you can see this, this line right here, I miss you guys in the shot. This line right here. It's gonna be the uh this is the line that's gonna get nicked down right here. It's gonna get nicked down to the from the number eight female fitting down to a, a male uh, number six. And uh this is gonna be the fitting that's gonna join in right here. Right here. So I'm gonna pull this guy off. I'm not gonna tighten him down quite yet, but I'm gonna go high up. I am gonna go them off. Since we test fitting, you can see my you can see my little peg all over here in the shot. Check my peg all out. So I got that peg 46. This is what goes inside this uh compressor. But I'm going to use some of this oil and going to just kind of lube up my damn uh, fitting. Oh, I think I hear the cold weather, y'all. It's cold out this motherfucker. So I'm going to just lube. Now, you, you, you need to do this. Make sure you lube up your lines. I'm going to take this back off because I do have a, uh, what you call that damn thing, guys? It's right here just for test fitting purposes. Look at that. I can see it already. Kind of squeezing that uh, O-ring, but I don't want to damage it. That's why I want to put some oil on it. This right here just for mock-up purposes. And I, I do have a, what you call that damn thing that goes up in here? Orifice tube. I do have an orifice tube. And I watched uh LS Matt video. And LS Matt did make a good point where you do want to, uh, you do want to have, this hose going to be a little, under a little stress here. Yeah, but it will. It will get out of there. It'll be fine. We'll figure out. Let's see something. Let's try this on for size. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take him, take him off. Slide him on this one, but we're gonna cut it. We just wanna see how it's gonna what kind of stress it's gonna be under why I, why I have it like this. So we're gonna get him joined in. Oh, uh, we can go up. However you wanna do it. As long as we ain't bending that uh, cross threading. There you go. Alright, so this is gonna go like that. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Cause it's gonna be tight than a dick's hat, man. It's gonna go like here, around. Under the breathing. Oh, it got pretty good clearance too. <clears throat> so now I see that hell yeah. I'm gonna put this bottle on off and you're gonna see how much we need to cut too. Take this fella right here back off. This is how we're gonna fit it up. 
and back up and do some hemp up. I don't want to put no stress on that damn O-ring. Just enough to hold it in place. If I damage the O-ring, I just grab another one. <clears throat> I'm going to take him. Well, I'm going to keep him on. He adds, if you look at it, he adds a little uh, shit. The whole stop here, and you got about another two inches. Let me grab the tape measure, and we're going to be sure of how much it adds to it. So when we do, uh, do a little eyeball test to it, we'll know. Let's go ahead and stretch him out since he's already fixed. Put a little uh, gummy bear juice on him. Put a little gummy bear juice on him. Oh, hell, shit, let's put a lot. Because it's cold outside. I'm going to go underneath. Man, it's cold out in the mud. I'm so serious, it's cold. Look at this little fitting right here. Sorry, right here beside my, uh, my line. So I'm going to use that line there. And I'll snake around. It's clear of the uh, compressor. I don't want it to be near my compressor. And here we go. Y'all see it. Y'all see what I'm working with already, don't you? Now, here's, here's the deal. This, uh, this see, all these got a little play and flex in them. I'm not crying. I'm not sure going to cause a leak or nothing. But right here, you already know that this uh this fitting is going to add another, uh shit, probably another inch and a half, two inches to it. But I'm going to measure in a minute. So I'm uh, probably going to cut my holes right here. Cut my holes right here. A little extra holes won't hurt me, so we're going to be careful with that. Let me grab a tape measure, guys, and I'll see. I'm going to cut you back on.